the game, as you know, but it seems Greenville's the place to be if you're a constant fan and you couldn't make it down to Miami. Of course, the festivities started much earlier today. As early computers were sewing in the shelves. As game time approached, fans did their last minute stocking up. Number one, we're going to finish up all the way tonight. We're number one! We're number one! Number one in the nation! Y'all taking video? Mm -hmm. By game time, the streets of Greenville were almost deserted, and for good reason. They had a TV set in the living room, a set at the bar, a set in the kitchen. And two sets in the basement. They even had someone keeping an eye on the Sugar Bowl on another network. Emotions ran high as the game progressed, but everyone certainly seemed to be enjoying themselves. Of course, just about everyone that wasn't at private home was jammed into numerous area watering holes. With me here is Jim Eskew, the manager of Trans. Jim, you're born and raised here in Greenville. What does this big victory mean for the people of this town? It's fabulous. I love it. How long have the fans been waiting for a national championship? All their lives. They've never had one before. First time ever for it. We're really, really ecstatic. We love it. What do you think is going to happen when this uh, Clemson team comes back to town? Well, I think we're going to have a, a bash. We've got a, we've got a party with them out here January 15th, all the players. Hey, we're going to have a big time out here. 